Hi folks, uh, London here from Acoustic and Beyond and today what I have here is the Yamaha EG112C uh, electric guitar. Now I bought this uh, second hand, I mean this is what I've been used and yeah, I was just looking for uh, like a practice guitar, something that I could you know beat up with and practice with. So I don't need to have like an expensive guitar or things like that. So I just I just decided to uh, bought a second hand, and uh, I was also like thinking about uh, customizing it, like um, repainting it and redesigning it. So yeah, I just uh, decided to uh, get a second hand. So I bought this Yamaha now. What I'm really after at is to have like an HSS a humbucker single single uh, pickup system. So that's why I decided to buy to buy this one. Now, I cleaned it up, um, as you can see here, it's all white. Now, it was like a yellowish color on the uh, pickups here, on the uh, cover, and also for the, for the knobs here. And it doesn't have this toggle uh, when I bought it, so I decided to make one for myself. Now, this is actually, if you have seen my previous videos about um, making the strap button, and making the uh, the bridge title for the for the acoustic pickup or for the acoustic guitar. Now I made it out out of a glue and uh, a tissue paper. Now I decided to make one for myself, like a toggle here. And this is one of the most important parts of a guitar because you can't you usually find this one on the store. So yeah, I decided to make one. And uh, yeah, see for yourself. Looks good, actually. It looks good. So uh, yeah, it took me a lot of um, uh, shavings there, and. Uh, what I call this, uh, grinding it uh, to make it smoother and smaller. But anyway, so I clean it up. I open this up. Now, the original pickup for this one, if you can, if you're familiar with the Yamaha One One Two series, it is white, white pick, uh, white pick guard. So the owner, the previous, the original owner for this one, decided to paint it with a maroon, and actually looks great. But the paint, uh, but the paint was uh, was not done well. Uh, I, I can clearly see like some of the uh, blemishes here on the paint and it wasn't buffed so I decided to buff it and as you can see right there it's, it's really smooth now like a, a factory set pick card all right so I've spooted it up I buff it and it looks looks really really good now I open this up and clean some few things there and the wires and also I try to remove this one uh, the uh, uh, the bridge I cleaned it up uh, put some oil on it and also yeah clean the bridge uh, I also cleaned up the uh, uh, the chinning keys I opened it up removed it and put some oil on it and also put some oil on the uh, on the bridge as you can see there I mean on the uh, on the fretboard now if you can see my fretboard is really really looks good it really looks good, like a rosewood fingerboard in there. The grain really, really looks good. All right, so this is smooth and silky now. So I bought myself like a D Dario uh, Nickel One uh, electric guitar string. This is 0.9 to 0.42 uh, string, and also bought myself like a, a cheap uh, guitar strap and also. Um, a Vox uh, cable which is of course made in China so there and by the way before I forget yeah it has a, a Wami bar and that's really really a plus sign it's really a good a good buy and I bought this like um, maybe around I want you to say like maybe around 60 to uh, 60 to 70 US dollars so this is really really cheap <clears throat> and everything else looks good and yeah it has few cracks here which I tried to like uh, do something with it like put tissue and glue on it just to cover it up and put some uh, black mar uh, marker and uh, just to hide the, the, the blemish and yeah it's not really that visible if you're looking at it from this view and anyway well, what's really important is about the, the pickup and how the setup of the guitar alright so more of it let me try to like um, 
what do you call this? Uh, put the string on, and yeah, let me just put the string on, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got all the strings set up. Now let's go ahead and tune this one. Let's see. Now I'm using a line six amplifier here. Well, let me set it to all cleans. Just uh, okay. Let's see here. Just tune it. Okay, there you have it folks, so let's go ahead and check this one. I'm currently running on clean. Just put it here. Currently running on clean and uh, the other settings is on 12 o'clock for the treble bass and uh, mid.
hear the bus in there. Uh, 12 o'clock for the volume. And full here, my guitar tone is full. So. Now, this is on the... Um, on the neck pickup. Again, this guitar is a five-way switch. Obviously, because we have a uh, single, single, and humbucker.
uh, guitar is really, really low and it's, it's really, really smooth. Just my, my hand and the fingers are a little bit rusted right now. <laughs> guitar 112C all right so if you're just uh, I'm actually I'm an acoustic guy I'm not really playing uh, electric guitar much more often that is why I just decided to buy a cheap one or a second it's, well this is actually uh, a beginner's guitar but it actually sounds good since it is a well Yamaha Yamaha is a really good name for, for making instruments so I wanted to cheap on a second hand uh, but with good quality so that is why I bought this one, you know, just to practice and beat up uh, since I'm not really into like uh, electric. But yeah, I'm just trying to uh, like practice and some stuff on the electric also. So yeah, there you have it, the Yamaha uh, EG112C second hand which I bought and cleaned and yeah, did something a little twist in it to improve the quality of the guitar, put some oil on it and yeah. And other stuff. Alright, so hope you like this video and uh, please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Alright, see you again next time. Now, again, this is Lennon from Acoustic and Beyond saying adios. Bye.